Have you ever wondered how it feels to harvest and cook your own dinner from a vegetable garden? There's something inherently magical about harvesting your own dinner. It's a unique experience that combines the joy of hard work, the satisfaction of seeing the fruits of your labor, and the anticipation of savoring a meal crafted from your very own hands. Each vegetable you pluck from the earth is a testament to your patience and dedication, and there's a sense of fulfillment that comes from knowing you've nurtured them from seed to table. Imagine this. The sun is setting, casting long shadows across your vegetable garden. You're standing there, a woven basket in hand, ready to collect the day's bounty. Your heart thrills at the sight of the ripe green leaves, the vibrant red tomatoes, and the plump, juicy cucumbers. You reach out, gently plucking each vegetable, feeling its weight and texture. The scent of fresh earth and ripe vegetables fills your nostrils, a sweet and earthy perfume that speaks of life and growth. Harvesting your own dinner isn't just about the act of picking vegetables, it's also about understanding the life cycle of each plant. Knowing when each vegetable is at its peak of freshness and flavour. It's about planning and timing, about patience and anticipation. When you harvest your own dinner, you're not just feeding your body, you're nourishing your soul. And as you fill your basket with the day's harvest, you can't help but think of the meal that awaits. The crisp lettuce in a salad, the juicy tomatoes in a pasta sauce, the tender zucchini in a stir-fry. Each dish a testament to your hard work and dedication. Each bite a celebration of the earth's bounty. Now that we have a bountiful harvest, it's time to bring these fresh greens to the kitchen. Harvesting is just the first step. Next, we need to prepare our fresh produce for the cooking process. There's something quite special about preparing vegetables you've grown yourself. It's a labor of love that extends from the garden to the kitchen. First things first, we need to give our bounty a good wash. This isn't just about making our vegetables look pretty. It's an essential step to remove any lingering soil, potential pests, or bacteria. A simple rinse under cool running water will often suffice. For hardier vegetables with a lot of nooks and crannies, like broccoli or cauliflower, you might want to soak them in cold water for a few minutes to dislodge any stubborn dirt. Next, we need to trim and peel our vegetables. This is where a good set of kitchen knives comes in handy. For many vegetables, the skins contain a lot of the nutrients, so you might want to leave them on. However, some might prefer the texture or taste without the skin, or perhaps the skin is too tough to eat, like in the case of squash or pumpkin. Once our vegetables are washed and trimmed, it's time to store them properly until we're ready to cook. Proper storage is key to maintaining their freshness. Leafy greens do well in a bag in the crisper drawer of your fridge, while root vegetables like carrots and beets prefer a cool, dark place. And don't forget about herbs. These flavor powerhouses can be kept fresh by trimming the stems and placing them in a glass of water, just like a bouquet of flowers. Change the water every couple of days, and they'll stay fresh for up to two weeks. Remember, this isn't a race. Take your time, enjoy the process. After all, these are the fruits and vegetables of your labor. With our vegetables cleaned, prepped and ready, we can now move on to the exciting part, cooking. Scene script. Here comes the most exciting part, turning our fresh harvest into a delicious meal. Let's dive right into our kitchen adventure. We'll start off with a simple recipe, a vibrant garden fresh vegetable stir fry this dish is all about highlighting the natural flavors of our homegrown produce, so we're going to keep things simple. First, we'll gather our ingredients. We have some crisp bell peppers, juicy tomatoes, a handful of tender green beans, a few cloves of garlic, and a sprig of fresh basil. Each of these vegetables brings something unique to the table. Bell peppers add a sweet crunch. Tomatoes lend a tangy juiciness. Green beans provide a tender bite. Garlic gives a hint of pungency, and basil imparts a touch of aromatic freshness. Next, we'll prepare the vegetables. We'll chop the bell peppers into bite-sized pieces, slice the tomatoes, trim the ends of the green beans, and mince the garlic. The basil will be roughly torn, releasing its aromatic oils. This step is all about preparing our ingredients in a way that will allow them to cook evenly and combine well in our dish. Now let's get cooking. We'll heat a splash of olive oil in a large pan over medium heat, once the oil is hot, we'll add the minced garlic, sautéing it until it's golden brown and fragrant. This is the foundation of our flavor profile, the garlic's pungency mellowing out into a sweet, nutty aroma that will permeate our dish. Next, we'll add the bell peppers and green beans. 
We'll stir fry these for a few minutes until they're just tender, but still retaining a bit of crunch. This step is about preserving the freshness and crunchiness of our vegetables, which is key to a satisfying stir fry. The tomatoes go in next. As they cook down, they'll release their juices, creating a flavorful sauce that will coat all our ingredients. At this point, we'll also add some salt and pepper to taste. Remember, our goal here is to enhance the natural flavors of our vegetables, not mask them. Finally, we'll tear in the fresh basil and give everything a good stir. The basil's aroma will infuse into the dish, tying all our flavors together into a harmonious blend. And voila, in just a few simple steps, we've transformed our homegrown vegetables into a vibrant, delicious stir fry. This dish is a testament to the power of fresh, quality ingredients, every bite bursting with the flavors of our garden. And just like that, our garden fresh vegetables have been transformed into a sumptuous meal. Now, let's savor the fruits of our labor, a meal made from vegetables we've grown ourselves. There's something incredibly satisfying about biting into a vegetable that you've grown with your own hands. It's more than just the taste, it's the culmination of weeks sometimes months of nurturing, caring, and patiently waiting for that perfect moment of ripeness. Every crunch, every burst of flavor is a testament to your labor and love. The taste is incomparable. It's fresh, it's vibrant, and it's real. It's a taste that store-bought vegetables, no matter how organic or locally sourced, just can't match. The sweetness of a ripe tomato, the crispiness of a cucumber, the earthiness of a freshly pulled carrot. These are flavors that are truly unique to a homegrown garden. But it's not just about the taste, it's about the nutritional value too. Homegrown vegetables are packed with nutrients, often more so than their supermarket counterparts. They're free of chemicals, pesticides, and preservatives. You know exactly what has gone into growing them because you are the one who's done it. Moreover, there's the satisfaction of knowing the source of your food. In a world where we're becoming increasingly disconnected from the food we eat, growing your own vegetables brings you closer to nature. It makes you appreciate the process, the hard work, and the patience it takes to grow food. It gives you a sense of control, a sense of achievement, and a sense of connection to the earth. Each bite is a reminder of the journey that these vegetables have made. From a tiny seed in the ground, to a flourishing plant in your garden, to a delicious meal on your plate, it's a journey you've guided, you've witnessed, and you're now a part of. There's nothing quite like the joy and satisfaction of eating a meal you've not only cooked, but grown yourself. It's a journey from the garden to the plate that's truly worth experiencing. Harvesting, cooking, and eating your own vegetables is more than just about food. It's about the connection we forge with nature. It's about understanding the cycle of life, and above all, it's about the satisfaction and pride that comes from cultivating your own sustenance. Think about it. You begin with a tiny seed, nurture it with love and patience, and watch it grow into a thriving plant. Then comes the harvest, plucking the fruits of your labor quite literally. The kitchen then becomes a stage, where you transform these fresh produce into delicious meals. And finally, when you sit down to eat, you relish not just the food, but the entire journey, from seed to plate, it's a learning experience, a chance to get your hands dirty and your heart fulfilled. It's about taking a break from our fast-paced lives to appreciate the slower yet rewarding rhythms of nature. And that's the beauty of growing and cooking your own food. It's a journey, a learning experience and a joy, so why not give it a try?